You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. With airlines opening worldwide, there is some very welcome news from the airport authorities as they kick into a higher gear to not only welcome much needed tourists, but also to increase essential freight. Spokesman for the Secretariat of State for Civil Aviation, Sin Chan Surey Vutta, sat down with me to discuss the outlook for airline travel and the biggest priority, that of passenger safety. As you know, that government never closed our country, okay? But we have some restriction from most high-risk country like uh, Indonesia, like uh, Malaysia and Philippines. Nowadays, government have decided to reopen this direct flight again. It means from Indonesia and from Malaysia and from Philippines. And the rest, we do not have any restriction. And now government have eased the uh, guarantee time, especially for the uh, diplomat, for the official, for the uh, investor, and from the, for the expert. They can arrive to Cambodia without guarantee, okay? But they need to fill up a lot of the uh, procedure, okay? But secondly, for vaccinated tourism, we also open for the who have uh, vaccinated uh, at least two doses or with the third dose, okay? Uh, they can go to the designated area where they can enjoy the their their time after five day if the government didn't find any uh, post uh, negative uh, positive case so they can travel around Cambodia. He also spoke of potential safety concerns arising from planes laying dormant for so long. Even those we are uh, industry obviously have have been affected by the pandemic, but the safety is not assumption. Okay, so the authority from our side we still oversee to ensure that uh, aircraft have been uh, implement or have been comply with the safety measure have been. Uh, uh, update all their uh, SOP, okay, have been uh, validate all their technical and uh, personal uh, resources. And uh, we didn't see any assumption uh, for the, to bring down our safety, okay. So safety is still good maintained from before pandemic and during pandemics. We concluded our chat by looking at the future of air travel and the requirements for all air travellers. During this uh, reopening uh, to the uh, uh, air tra traffic again, I think my personal opinion, the, 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 the business uh, model of the local would be changed, okay? As you know that uh, Government have decided to 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 choose uh, the policy living with COVID. Okay, so uh, the the requirement for traveling by air is different from pre-pandemic. Okay, as you know, before you travel, every country require you to have a test to ensure that you are not carrying positive case. You are healthy. Secondly, you have to, they, they, they also require you to purchase travel insurance, which is cover also the COVID uh, disease also, okay? And thirdly, you have to ensure your booking with the hotel. Mm. And this booking, if you cancel, you cannot get it back, okay? So what I mean, change, business when I change, the travel time and the cost for travel of our air traveler will be more than pre-pandemic, okay? And also when you fly to other country, depend on their, their, their policy and, and measure, okay? You have to stay or without stay in the hotel or in the Grand Tanyari, okay? Example like Thailand, they not require you to stay at Garantan area, but you have to ensure you are healthy, insurance cover, and to ensure that where you are staying, 
So after your arrival, you have to, you will be tested and then you can go to your hotel and then you have to wait for the result. If you are negative, so you can travel around. The aviation industry globally was quite simply paralyzed by COVID-19. But here in Cambodia, the outlook is exceedingly bright. Last year alone, the cargo increased by a full 70%. And that only spells good news, because surely the passengers will follow and tourism will get a much needed boost. Paolo Benini, EAC News, SSCA, Phnom Penh.